Let's take a look at the ESP32 Marauder by Just Call Me Coco. This is the touchscreen version, a little bit bigger than the Mini for sure, and it has a touchscreen. What we're going to do here as well is take this battery and we are going to install it into the unit. That way it'll be able to have power without being plugged in externally. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, actually before I even do this, let's power up the unit. Let's take a look, make sure everything's working, right? Power it up. And it is touch screen, so we'll be able to use any type of a touch screen pen. Now, take this and always, always, always make sure the antenna is in so that you don't ruin the chip. All right, antenna's in. Let's scan a few things. Let's do a little sniff. And the APs, there we go. Cool. Go back. Let's do raw capture. Look at that. Very good. Deauth sniff. If it's on the deauthorization traffic coming in in any of these channels, it'll display it. And all the regular stuff you can do. Now what we'll do is we'll take this and put a battery in it. Unscrew everything here. It's got four screws. Take those out. And then it's just the raw unit in here with a 3D printed case. It's pretty slick actually. Take all four of these off. Then I want to be real careful when I open this thing up. And this is the unit. And the reason I want to be careful is just because of this antenna on the inside right here that attaches to the antenna. I just don't want to break that or anything. And Here's the battery compartment. Minus plus, very nicely indicated. And then I take my battery here and I am going to insert it. So here's plus, here's minus, negative, positive. Here we go. I can tell right away tight fit in there. All right, it's in. Now, before I screw everything back in, I'm going to hit the power button here. Let's see if it turns on. Nope. And it does. Look at that. All right, while that's starting up, I will screw the 3D printed case back in. So now this unit is totally mobile, does not need an external power source. And when it's plugged into a power source with the USB-C cable, it's charging that lithium ion battery. So I can use an external battery to either power it 
or charge the internal battery that I've placed inside of it, or both, right? So if you're doing some really long penetration testing, you are able to use an external and internal battery for whatever your needs may be. So we get this all screwed in. Get the antenna screwed in as well. And there we have it. We've got the battery installed in the touchscreen ESP32 Wi Fi Marauder. And now we're able to really wirelessly, boom, bitty, boom. This hole is for the GPS antenna, SD card slot right there. The 2.4 gigahertz antenna area right here. Then on this side, we've got the power button. So if I click on this, uh, it's a double click actually, turns it off. And then a single click will turn it back on. There you go. And then this is where the external power goes. And if you ever need to flash it and whatnot. And then on the back here is the boot and reset buttons. A separate custom 3D printed case with the Wi-Fi Marauder unit. Let's take a look at some Bluetooth. Let's, uh, let's do a Bluetooth attack. We'll do, see if I can hear this on my computer at all. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> She's doing her thing, for sure. Get out of there. A little Bluetooth sniff, ooh, detects card, card skimmers. Really cool feature. I have yet to walk into a store and use it claiming that they have that they're stealing my card information. Bluetooth sniffers. It's got it all. And not only does it have it all, but it has it all with its own internal power. Very cool. The Marauder, ESP32 Marauder by Just Call Me Coco, the touchscreen edition.